Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. Real quick video, bear with me on this. A lot of people uh, actually had a, a couple different questions about maximizing the sheet usage. And I'm gonna show you a technique today that's something I've never done and somebody specifically requested it. So we're gonna give it a try. You can see all this wasted material where, uh, you know, things aren't all the way to the edge. You see like, you know, that, and you know, these are, are inset like that and a lot of waste of material. So how can you actually cut a part, you know, that's like a completely closed loop part, but actually use the edge as part of the work. So let's, bear with me for a second. Let's go inside the uh, shop. Okay, stay with me guys. Uh, check this out in Fusion. Let me, let me bring you in close here. Okay, here we are inside of Fusion 360. And here's a look at the two different versions of the part we're gonna cut. The basic difference is the part on the left is, you know, is completely closed in and it's at the exact dimension and we're gonna offset that in the cam. And our part that we're gonna use the edge, you see the edge is not uh, closed up here. And we've offset this in the CAD because it's an open contour and you can't offset in cam. So that's really the difference there in, uh, in the CAD. All right, so this is what you want to do. You want to get that uh, a known reference points. In this case, I'm using the shield on the torch. Uh, and we know that's uh, 992 thousandths is the total diameter. So if we want to cut that diameter in half, it would be 496 thousandths. So let me show you this real quick. So what we would do is zero out our DRO. And then we'll raise our torch up. Let me get you in the stand here tripod so we'll just raise our torch up just above the plate doesn't matter how high and then what we will do is jog over the 496 thousandths so again let me zero that out so I'm just gonna jog it A little too far. Okay, so 498 thousandths is what we were able to get it jogged to. You know, this is not, so you're talking about, about that. And that what that should do is put our torch dead center on the edge of the plate there. Uh, and it should pierce okay. It should do everything it needs to do from right there. So let's go ahead and get it cut. All right, you can see that we use the entire edge with zero waste as compared to the first one that we cut where Obviously, there's waste, but I cut that in a in a bad part of the plate. But just in general, you see no waste. The entire edge is used. So here's our two parts. Let's see how we did on uh, allowing for the kerf and our measurements with the DRO. Uh, this is the one that uh, was cut on the edge. This is the the edge here, and this is the one that was completely cut out of the center. So let's measure our holes first, just to see how we did on that. So these were supposed to be uh, one inch holes there. And uh, you see we got 995 thousandths on that. And I don't know if I'm like, you know, there could be a little bit of dross or something because I didn't even clean these up, 999. So we're pretty close on that one. Uh, let's check this one. Just kind of have to work it back and forth to, to let it find the, the center. So pretty close on that one too. A little bit of draft and dross and so forth. But you see we're pretty close there. Uh, so now here's the key part. Uh, do we have two inches on, on, on all the way around here? Let's see what we get. And again, I'm gonna try to get up to the top edge. See, uh, 1994, let's see what we get this way. You know, so we're not exactly square and I don't remember which way was which. Uh, my guess is that when we did that edge offset, we didn't quite offset it enough. Here's the one that cut it completely out of the center uh, with 
you know, with a potential waste. So, you know, two thousandths, three thousandths over. You know, so you can see this one's really square. So two thousandths, three thousandths over there as well. So, um, Overall, you know, the true cut machine, you know, on a regular cut does a really nice job. You can see that this is just off the table as it comes, just a tiny bit of dross on it. The edges are really square and straight, uh, you know, straight part. I mean, that, if, if you're not trying for perfection, I'd say you can get away with that. But for me, trying to get parts that are as accurate as I can make them on a plasma table, when you're getting parts that are within two or three thousandths on plasma with draft and dross and all that, you're doing good. You got a good machine. So... Anyway, guys, that's, a, uh, that's just a little test there. Uh, let me know what you think.